Yo, I'm Sigfistix and thanks for clicking on my video. New week and a handful of free games have been made available for your beautiful face to enjoy. We have a good selection of games to enjoy this week and we start off on the Epic Store where Grime will be up for grabs starting July 6th. This also means if you haven't grabbed the game with the weird name that I still cannot pronounce, you still have a few days to do so. Anyway, Grime is a two-dimensional Souls-like in a large interconnected map that relies heavily on parry mechanic. You level up like in Souls, you choose your armor like in Souls, which one looks the best of course, and you spam dodge while managing your stamina bar just like in Souls. You'll probably also die a lot, just like in Souls, but you'll respawn at generously placed checkpoints with shortcuts that minimize the amount of backtracking and thank god for that. The bosses are hard, but once you get good, they're pretty fair just like life I guess. What makes this game different from the sea of Metroidvania Souls games is that your parry mechanic actually lets you devour enemies and if you do so often enough, you'll gain one of their abilities to use against your enemies. Considering it's sitting in with very positive reviews on Steam with around 3000 reviews and it's free, then Grim should definitely be on your try list. Or at least the get it and forget for now list. Next up we have Spiritle, which is a 4 player turn based strategic battle digital board game. My god that was a mouthful. Well at least that's what the developer calls it. But I call it a memory game. I absolutely love the art style, but the gameplay is very underwhelming. Part of that is on me. I thought it was a multiplayer card game, but it's actually a game of tile matching. It's not even a real memory game, well the core gameplay is really just you guessing and luck. Each character does have special abilities and these can be used to gain the upper hand. Which makes it incredibly concerning that they're already selling 3 paid characters. I don't want to say it's pay to win, but I imagine someone is already thinking that. Last but not least, the UI is incredibly obtuse at times, especially when it comes to using your character's abilities. It's not intuitive, and honestly sometimes feels downright backwards. So the wonderful art style aside, this is a pretty solid skip for me as it is right now. You can give it a go either on Steam or the Epic Store, and I would love to know if you agree with my world class review. Remember, links to all of the games mentioned in this video are in the description for you lazy buggers. That's the high quality type of service that I like to provide. If you want to stay up to date with free games, then remember to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to make me extra happy. GOG is throwing Beholder 2 at your beautiful face. In Beholder 2, you are an intern at the Central Ministry of Totalitarian State with your whole career ahead of you. You work your way up the ladder by scheming against employees, spying on your boss and completing paperwork. Or you could turn against the state and expose corruption. The choice is yours to make. Those few sentences might have left you with the feeling that this game sounds fun. But it's not. It's intense, dark and morally compromising. It's really well executed but extremely intense. If you end up enjoying it, there's also Beholder 1 and 3 if you can't get enough. Next up we have something a little less dark, Galactic Grinder, which is a nice 2.5D side-scrolling obstacle based kind of game and your main form of transportation is your trusted skateboard. It's fun and easy to play, it has good responsiveness, nice and colorful art style that didn't hurt my eyeballs 30 minutes in. A really nice game for a few hours of fun. Fully recommend it. Not only because it's free, but also to support the developers that are university students and have made something that's actually fun. It's free to keep over on Steam and hopefully we have some DLC coming our way to add a bit more juiciness to the game. Next up we have Raw Nerve, which is an easy to play, hard to master driving sandbox set in a psychedelic galaxy. In reality, it's like Trackmania, but if Trackmania was on LSD. The handling is interesting. It's like driving a car on a frozen lake with summer tires on. And for once, I would suggest keyboards rather than controllers for more control. That said, for the price of free, it's worth a fun ride through a weird world with some good tunes to match. You should definitely go have a look over on Steam.
Steel Series Games, which I didn't even know was a thing, are giving away Warframe Cumulus Collection, which I don't really know what is and I couldn't be bothered with a Google search. I guess if you're a Warframe player then you know what this juicy giveaway is all about. You can head on over to the Steel Series Games page and get the key that you can then input into Steam and off you go. Next up we have Meet Your Maker, which is a post-apocalyptic first-person building and raiding game where every level is designed by players. Play solo or with a friend as you mastermind devious maze-like outposts full of traps and guards, then gear up for methodical fast-paced combat raiding other players' creations. Sweetness to my ears. I'm in love with the player made level aspects of this game. I'm sure it will have an added level of toxicity mixed into each level design just to make people rage quit extra much. Such are humans. Meet Your Maker is free to play for the next few days over on Steam. There's also a free DLC that's also free to play for a few more days if you want to try and combine the two. Last but not least we have Ahori, where you embark on an adventure driven by vengeance, to hunt down your former god and put an end to his reign to restore balance to the world. After a series of cataclysms the Ahori tribe lost faith in their god and they decide to send their fiercest warrior, which unfortunately is you, to put an end to this wrath. And so our heroine Ahori sets off, armed with her bow and to slay her fallen god. It's a fun bullet hell third person shooter with a bit of a platforming mixed in. A mix and match of various genres but our homies over at Objective 3D seem to have executed this one fairly well. Ahori Uprising came out just a few days ago and is currently sitting in with 3 reviews but I think it might end up on the positive tier list in just a few days. And that's pretty much all I had for you in this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't. Like why not? Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.